It started with a woman who had the courage to stand up for dignity, justice, and human rights in America, and with a man who believed that all people are created equal in the eyes of God. The IUE District 11 Social Actions Department proudly dedicates this film for all generations to come to continue the visions and goals of Dr. Martin Luther King, who gave his life in the name of justice. effort, and we can get through individual efforts. Every Negro and every white person up to strip toe ought to be supporting the labor union. It's no accident strip toe is fighting not to deduct the wage due from the salaries of the individual. It's no accident because they don't want a labor union up there because they know they've got to treat you right. History is filled with cruel twists. Success is all too often tinged with tragedy. And sometimes the price of victory involves the ultimate sacrifice. The unwilling quest for worker rights and human dignity brought Martin Luther King to Memphis in 1968 during a nine-week-old sanitation strike. When he arrived, conditions were deteriorating. The strike had taken its toll. Garbage lay strewn in the streets. The faces of the city's sanitation workers told a painful story. The story of AFSCME members who had been forced to fight for their rights. Martin Luther King came to try and help secure those rights. Once again, he spoke of the parallel between civil rights and labor. But let me say to you tonight, that the labor Antonio today uh, celebrating uh, Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. Dr. Martin Luther King and labor have the same visions and uh, will be uh, participating in this historic event for the, for the city county memorial celebration in honor of Dr. King. We're honored that we have Walter Gilbert, president of IUE District 11, represents 23 states west of the Mississippi, representing our international union. Walter Gilbert from uh, Minnesota. As president of the IUE District 11, the International Union of Electronic, Electrical, Salary, Furniture, and Machine Workers, AFL-CIO, I am proud to be here in San Antonio for this historic march, Living the Dream, Let Freedom Ring. Thank you, Walter, for being with us today. I know this is important. You've been in the labor movement most of your life, and, and, and the labor movement uh, throughout the country right now is honoring Dr. King, and we're proud to be part of it. I'm proud that, uh, to be here in this historic event for Dr. King, and I know that uh, the march here today will be in honor of Dr. King's visions and dreams that we all share in the labor movement, and uh, we are honored that you have uh, served this community to the best throughout the civil rights marches and we're honored to march with you and honor Dr. King here today. Thank you, Brother Martinez. Uh, I would just like to say uh, that this is uh, one of the aspects of Dr. Martin Luther King, our dreams becoming a reality. Uh, certainly, Dr. King was interested in the decency of labor for all people, a fair wage for all people. Uh, decency uh, for mankind as reflected in labor. Dr. King fought hard for free labor, uh, for equalization, uh, freedom of all men in uh, the labor movement. And today, uh, he need not be here. He's already been here. He saw this coming. For he know God is on the throne, and this is what God lacks for men to do, his creatures, is to dwell together wherever they meet each other. 
dwell together in fairness for each other. Well, Dr. King has a very special meaning to us workers here today. His spirit is alive. We know that even though he was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee in April, addressing the garbage collector strikers in Memphis who were fighting for equality and justice for all, and I know that that uh, this is a historic mark, uh, uh, marks the beginning, again, of another generation to continue this dream on for Dr. King. Yes. I, I would like to say that uh, uh, it used to be most people look down on labor, uh, blue-collar workers. But I think Dr. Martin Luther King was way ahead of uh, his time because he didn't look down on the blue-collar workers, but he looked up to them. This is why he went to Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, march for the betterment of the sanitation workers. This is why he went there, because he felt that uh, they needed to be lifted up in pride. He felt they were being oppressed uh, by the oppressors. And this was not right, this was not fair. And he went there and put his life on the altar uh, for the blue collar workers. Hey, brother, for they are important. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Vernon Collins. Thank you. Same thing. Here with some friends of the IUE. Uh, we go back to 1957 when they, his father helped us organize in IUE Local 780. The Putman uh, family has always been a supporter of the labor movement. We're honored that uh, they join us today in this historic celebration with celebrating Dr. King's march. Uh, Mike, Mike Putman and Vic Putman, I would like for you to say a few words of why you're here marching with us today. Obviously, the, the parallel between the labor movement and the civil rights movement can't be ignored. Everybody is fighting for civil rights. In one case, the black people. In your case, in our case, also, of course, the union movement is the uh, the rights of the workmen, not to be taken advantage of, not to be forced to work 14 to 16 hours a day in sweatshops like they did at the turn of the century. That's why we're here. Is it, it's boils down to people, and everybody ought to have rights. Good. Mike, uh, do you have anything to add? I'm just proud to be part of the union labor movement and be third generation labor. My grandfather was an engineer on Southern Pacific Railroad. My father, before World War I, was walking a picket line at the SP Depot. And we're proud to be here and we're proud to be a part of the movement, except we have to remember that the struggle still continues. That there is not equality among the races in the United States yet. There's not equality between labor and management today. We have continued that struggle until sometime, hopefully within our lifetime timing, we will reach a true equality. Well, we thank you very much for being here today. Our pleasure, brother. Thank you. Being a, uh, a leader in, in the movement for workers and for justice and equality all his life, uh, we're honored that he's marching with us, labor, in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King. He uh, has always been a supporter fighting against injustices and against violations of human rights. And I would like to welcome you to our demonstration in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King, Father Cheryl, Father Cheryl Smith. No, I just got to Would like to say a few words? Yes. Why you're here today? Yes, I'm here to march in honor of Dr. Martin Luther King and to renew old times with union people. We've been out in the street any number of times, marching up and down for justice, for social justice, labor justice, racial justice, and just happy to be out in this beautiful day with a lot of good old friends. And well, we, we thank you very much, Father. We're glad that uh, you're here with us in support of uh, uh, workers. I'm very, very honored to be here and also honored to have been uh, in the city council that created the Martin Luther King celebration for San Antonio and declared it a holiday, which is a significant action in, in times when when budgets are difficult. It's, it wasn't an easy decision, so it, it speaks well for the citizens of the city of San Antonio who asked us to do this and supported it. I'm here this morning to represent my district, District 1, and the city council, also to represent Hispanics in, in San Antonio. My district is predominantly Mexican-American, and I believe that as an Hispanic in the United States, I have a lot to thank Martin Luther King also. Uh, my family is also a family of the labor movement, my, my parents, my uncles, my brothers and sisters, and I have been supportive of the labor movement. I think what's important
important today and the kinds of thoughts that I've had these days and that I carry with me today is the fact that the things that Dr. King fought for, labor and justice and equal wages, uh, just parity, and that all people in this country, regardless of color or gender, have equal access to the uh, rights uh, granted to them by the Constitution, I think these rights and liberties are still not here as, as we would like them. People like you, Jaime, and, and your union, labor, women's group, uh, youth, elderly, there's a lot of people that are still literally fighting for some of the rights, just basic human rights that we don't have as, as we should yet. I think we have moved a long way since the days of, of Dr. King, but I think we need to be very cognizant of the fact that the, uh, the struggle is not yet over and that each of us that is here is a part of it and that we just need to recommit ourselves to, uh, to justice. Thank you very much, Maria. And the, the progress must continue. You know, the progress of the uh, through unionism and freedom from fear. We must continue moving in the directions and visions of Dr. Martin Luther King, which is uh, better for all humanity and mankind. city in the country from the work that Dr. King did. Uh, when you just stop and think about how this city has changed under the Voting Rights Act, which Dr. King's work made possible, under the Civil Rights Laws, which Dr. King's work made possible, I could make the case that San Antonio and people of all color here have benefited as much as or more than any other city in the country. This is a model of what Dr. King sought to do. So we say thank you on a day like this. Our purpose is to say thank you to Dr. King and all who worked with him and all who continue to live up to his ideals and his principles. I'm sure that Dr. King, looking down on us today, is very pleased with the spirit of what he sees. I'm sure he'd rather be here in person, but he went before, he, he uh, sacrificed, in order that thousands of young people today could be in school, that representation could be farther extended than ever before, uh, and, and we're, we're simply grateful. Well, we're, we're honored uh, that uh, you're leading us in this uh, historic event here in San Antonio, and I know that the spirit will continue to live on of freedom and justice for all. Well, as long as we keep keep the, keep the fire burning, which is what today represents, it will. Thank you very much, Henry. <laughs>
labor in honor of a historic holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King. And Mr. Cisneros, please. Let us hear you. Thank you very much, Pastor. I want to thank everyone who's participating in today's activity. This is an important day for our city. I'm proud of San Antonio. I don't know that there's another place in Texas that Martin Luther King holiday is being celebrated with the energy and enthusiasm that is so evident today in San Antonio, Texas. Let me introduce at this time Mr. Carl Lewis, world-class sprinter, four-time gold medal winner at the Olympics in 1984, Carl Lewis. Yeah, 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 that's right. I'm excited to be here myself. It is, it is just wonderful to see San Antonio so enthused. We've got a long way to go. We've come a long way, so let's do it all together.
afraid that the schools would be off today and the city would be closed and the county would be closed. And I'll tell you why I think it's appropriate. Because more than most cities in this United States, San Antonio has benefited from what Dr. Martin Luther King did. More than most cities in America, the Civil Rights Movement touched San Antonio. More than most cities in America, the Voting Rights Act touched San Antonio. And all of those things came in 1964 and 65 because Dr. Martin Luther King was marching and leading. My fellow brothers and sisters, workers and citizens of San Antonio, today the whole world and the labor movement, including workers in South Africa, stand proud to honor the late Dr. Martin Luther King's national holiday. Dr. King's vision and dreams reflected on issues of civil rights, education, unemployment, minorities, always advocating justice on the job and defending the declaration of principles that all God's children are created equal and have the basic right to an adequate income. We have some of our pioneers in the IUE that are here. Linora Silva, a member of IUE Local 780, a retiree, that, uh, and some of the committees, for the retiree committees for the IUE, Janie and Inez Narvaez, who also led the movement in IUE and organized in San Antonio. Uh, Laura, why are you all here today and marching with us? Well, uh, first of all, because uh, Dr. Martha uh, King, he, he was a great man. He was a, a God man. He believed in justice. He believed in freedom and, and for all of the, uh, the people. And uh, then uh, he believed in labor and he supported labor. And uh, I was one of the, the, the ones that started the, the movement at uh, Frederick, Local 780. Uh, I, was, I, I had my rough days too. Uh, I was picked up and, and put in jail. Or we were on strike. And uh, uh, But now things are changing. Now it's, we, we are beginning to see the dream of Dr. Uh, Martin Luther King. Maybe Sister Sackley, why are you here today in this historic event in San Antonio? Here of Dr. Martin Luther King, a man that stood for rights, a man that fought for all people, a man that believed that love could conquer the world. Tim Smernick, president of IUE Local 1019, who helped coordinate the march with IUE also. Why are you here, Brother Smernick? The reason that I'm here is because I've been in organized labor over half my life, and Martin Luther King stands for the same principles as I stand for. historic demonstration of workers supporting the national holiday of Dr. Martin Luther King. And we thought that IUE was part of the leadership that helped organize this historic march here in the South. So as a union leader yourself, you've come up the ranks in the IUE, you were president of 780 for many years, always uh, defending the rights of workers to a good union contract good wages, good benefits, and good security for people. You know, now that you work for the International and part of the Committees for Social Action in San Antonio, uh, why did you participate in this historic demonstration? Well, I mean, as, uh, as part of labor, it's uh, the King's dream and the, the IUE stream have always been very similar, if not the same in many respects. Uh, the IUE was there when uh, Martin Luther King marched on, on Washington. Uh, we were there in the forefront uh, fighting uh, for justice for all, uh, all people. My brothers and sisters, this historic celebration in San Antonio is a message not only to all workers to organize, but a message that living the dream and let freedom ring the visions and dreams of Dr. King and labor is a continuing, never-ending struggle to fight for justice on the job, to fight for the elderly, for the needy, for the hungry in our society. 
And we're honored that the IUE was part of the Martin Luther King Commission that made this reality a success in our city of getting the message across that such progress must continue. The better education for our children, the better way of life that we want for our families through collective bargaining processes. January the 19th will go on history as one of the largest demonstrations of civil rights leaders, union leaders, workers, people of all nationalities that support justice and equality in our nation. We're proud that we were part of it. We're proud that, that we can give this message today to everyone who has the same goals and ideas as Dr. King. The better way of life we want is the American dream that all of us workers want, that the progress must continue. The involvement of you and I and everyone that are in positions to fight against injustices. Our international union, we represent 500 locals all over the United States, over 200,000 members that celebrated these visions and dreams on January the 19th. We'd like to thank President Bill Bywater, Secretary Treasurer Ed Fire, and all the executive board members of the International for continuing this dream and the visions of progress through unionism and freedom from fear. We've got some difficult days ahead, but it really doesn't matter with me now because I've been to the mountaintop. And I've looked over, and I've seen the promised land. So I'm happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Martin Luther King died in Memphis. He died fighting for the rights of workers, for the cause of labor. He brought his dream to Memphis and left a shocked and mourning nation with a legacy of hope. While hearts grieved, souls remained firm and committed. For a dream cannot be dented by an assassin's bullet. Martin Luther King dared to dream. By daring, he crossed paths that others refused to tread. He opened doors that had been closed for generations. He brought dignity and hope to millions trapped by injustice. And he left us a dream.